So I'm having friends over for Korean barbecue tomorrow, but I recently just got a new lens, so let's test that out. Wow. Oh my goodness. I feel like you guys can see my whole kitchen now, but anyways, welcome back. So my friends were craving Korean barbecue, and honestly, what is better than Korean barbecue on a hot summer night? So I thought tonight we can marinate some meat first, marinate some eggs, and then maybe make some side dishes if we have time, just so that way tomorrow there's less prep work to do. But first things first, you know the drill. We gotta make something yummy to drink. Let's go. This is the ultimate winner because remember a few weeks ago we did the watermelon version, did the grape version, we did the lemon version, and now we're basically combining them together without the lemon. And wow, this is like the most refreshing thing I have ever, ever, ever had. Oh my goodness, please, 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 please make this. I think with soju, this would be such a perfect cocktail. Oh, I'm so good. Okay, let's get cooking with the drink. Look who's here. Hi. Hey. Dropping off the cats. Hi friends, long time no see. <laughs> just kidding, he's grumpy right now. He just wants snacks. Okay, I'll feed you. So I got both beef and pork belly, and then I think we're gonna do different marinades from each and one of them. I think for the high quality short rib boneless, we're just gonna keep it as is. Just because when it comes to high quality meat, I feel like salt and pepper is good enough. For the sliced beef ribeye, I think we're gonna make bulgogi for this. So I'm gonna do a marinade for that. So I got two honeycomb pork bellies. One of them, I'm just gonna do salt and pepper. So that way tomorrow we can add kimchi to that and then grill it and it'll be so, so good. For the other one, I think I'm gonna do like a spicy marinade because I think spicy pork belly is so delicious. And I also got fresh pork capicola. I don't really know how to pronounce that. But for this one, we're gonna do like a green onion marinade for it. So yeah, let's start with the bulgogi. Thank you. 
just finished marinating the meat and then it's seven o'clock right now so we still got some time before movies it starts at 8 30 so i gotta be out of here eight o'clock latest so i'm gonna try to do the jammy eggs right now and then i don't think we'll have time for side dishes so i'll do those tomorrow because i still want to clean the kitchen a bit before a big day tomorrow i think we're making like five to six side dishes tomorrow so i find that korean marinated eggs taste best the next day so we gotta do these today so let's go but when it comes to peeling egg the number one thing that will help you so 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 much is getting a pointy spoon like this okay so using the back of the spoon we're just going to make tiny cracks all along the egg then we're going to peel off the top part a little bit and then using the spoon we're just going to poke in and we're just going to peel off the shell like this Ta -da! a perfectly peeled egg lime, yogurt, as well as soda water. However, I also think it'll taste really good with like non-sweetened jasmine or green tea. So for those who want to make it caffeinated and no um, artificial sweetener, you can try it with green tea and jasmine tea or just any tea that you like, like cold brew. I think it'll be super refreshing. I feel like I should open a bubble tea shop. Would you guys actually come if I had one? Anyway, so today we're going to make a few more side dishes as well as make a sauce to go with the barbecue. I'm also wondering if we have enough meat. So if we have time, I might run back to the butcher shop and the grocery shop to pick up more meat, but we shall see. But before we do that, I just want to say a big, big, big thank you to everyone who supported me because I got something super exciting in the mail that day. Give me one second. Ta-da! One million on YouTube! Oh my goodness! I cannot express how thankful I am. It's always been a dream of mine to, you know, be a content creator, share my passion for food online, but especially on YouTube. It's honestly such a dream come true and I am speechless. I have no words other than thank you. I'm forever grateful and I promise to always work hard and have more fun content for you guys. Like what? Ah, when I got this in mail, I actually cheered up. Like I was so, so happy. I, I had no words, but anyways, um, I know I can never pay back what you guys have given me like this dream life but i wanted to do a little little giveaway 
um, just to celebrate 1 million and just to say a little thank you. So I'll be picking four winners um, and I'll have all the content description down below so I don't keep rambling on. I know I'm a rambler. But anyways, just want to say a big, big, big thank you, especially to those who tune in every week and always comment. I actually look forward to your guys' comment every weekend. Like I wake up and I read the comments as the first thing I do. So thank you, thank you, thank you for making my dream come true. I'm forever grateful. Anyways, back to cooking. So the next thing we're gonna do is prepare the cucumbers and cucumber since it has so much liquid in order to keep it nice and crunchy you want to draw out all the excess water so we're gonna do that with salt and sugar a lot of people just do it with salt but I personally like a combination of salt and sugar it gets the job done but also marinates it and then the sweetness tastes really good with both the spicy cucumber as well as the more sour and sweet cucumber so we're just gonna add sugar and salt to both of the cucumber Massage well, make sure that every piece of cucumber is coated. So we're just going to set this aside for 20 to 30 minutes. And then in the meantime, we're going to prepare the other side dishes. That way, once we're back, the cucumber will be nice and crunchy. So after 20 minutes, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the cucumber has now released tons of liquid. So we're just gonna drain out the water and we're ready to season. Okay, so we finished all the side dishes except for one which is green onion salad but I want to quickly show you guys a quick tip on how to cut green onion so first of all I use the big green onion it looks like this you don't have to use these but I personally like it a lot because I like it when my green onion salad has a lot of the white parts of the green onion and I find that the big ones have more so I love it um, I actually learned this trick watching an auntie do it in a shop and I was like that is genius so why did I think of that before so cut off the ends and then what I do right here is I make a little slit right here so you can open it up and basically then you have little sheets of green onion like this and then all you have to do is slice it that's it so that way it is super thin and it's super easy to slice and you can do this also with regular green onion too basically you cut it open that way all the layers open up and you just lay it flat and then you slice it up and that's how you get super super thinly sliced green onion
I'm not g o n n a g e t o u